Dirk Count with Fernando Torres. Amongst the heroic European exit at Stamford Bridge on the eve of the Hillsborough anniversary, Arsenal celebrated reaching one semi-final in the Champions League, but then lost another. And in the FA Cup, they, just like Liverpool four days earlier, felt the force of a Chelsea comeback. Arsenal's away kit this season, a tribute to what their side of 1989 were wearing when they seized what was up for grabs, famously, from a two-goal win. That league championship plucked from Liverpool's grasp in front of their own fans here. Looking up at them in the table. Well, we expect that now familiar quick start. It's been a feature of their recent form of the post, how quickly they've got out the blocks. Particularly him. Here's Torres. Pass two. But not past Fabianski. He'll be pleased to make a good early save here. Oh, what a chance. A chance he makes all on his own. Messes up Sanya in the air. Doesn't quite clear it, and then from there, watch this for pace. He had plenty of time, you know, just didn't set it far enough. Thought he was maybe going to try and do him with the eyes here. Fabianski's reading this. And he... Torres, who passes his. Uh... Does all right, drives right at the heart of the defence. Just closes in on him a little here, a little too many numbers, too many players to take on. Almighty collapse from them. That carrier Torres combination that we saw earlier against Blackburn. Riera. And Fabianski with some good handling again. Might have gone here early on. Always a concern there, and he stays down. But Riera took the shot on when he might have slid in the left back. Gets himself a good position again there, Fernando Torres, and they just about deal with this. It's close. He could have just slid it left back's on his way. Didn't see him. Just watch that right ankle. Yeah, goes over on it. That's the pressure. Painful. Yeah. Just tweaks the ligaments there. And rather typical of his uh, season. Rafa Benitez would have loved to have seen more of Fernando Torres. Well, only 15. This is only his 16th start in the uh, Premier League, just half the games. Again, lots of strapping around there, you can see it. So precaution taken. So always reduces the, the damage caused. It wasn't a good ball to Nazare from Sanya. The offside Torres. That's a yeah, they won an FA Cup tie on this ground as well. They lost in the Champions League 4-2 a year ago. There's a little uh, complaining uh, the uh, word with the referee. Howard Webb did. Maybe it was just a, a disguise. Ball out to Arbeloa in the end. Count biting in. Picked up by Arbeloa. He's on the move down the outside. This is Torres. Right, hit it, does hit it. Great save over by Fabianski. Goalkeeper side. We expect them to save this. The Torres has started really brightly. He's been a threat. That ball going across the goalkeeper might have had a different ending, but we'd expect. Really hung up the corner. Torres goes once, Torres goes twice. Mascherano. Torres. It's just a little flick in the end. It's really nothing. I just had a thought that night when how, how Rafa Benitez must have felt and somehow having taken his number one striker off that man there his team suddenly got to 4-3 with some minutes left in the game and he was sitting beside his manager National Stadium which I'm glad to see uh, they're going to address but Torres and Fabianski parries it Torres wasted no time he might have taken it on 
hammered it goalwards. Oh, oh, well. I mean, this ball's moving all over the place, I give you that. And I understand the problems that the goalkeepers have. You watch it, hits it, and it starts to move, look at that. But you've got to do better than just knock it down in front of you. Not lucky, he's defender. Opponents, Chelsea. It's wonder whether David Moyes will field anything like his uh, cup final. In goes Riera. Hanski's territory. If they had the choice of which of these two clubs, Liverpool or Manchester United, won the league, they'd rather Liverpool do it. <laughs> but at the moment, they're their favourites. I think he just flicked the ball into his own face there, Torres, didn't he? Well, this is the trick. It gets up there and it comes back to him. He just, just tries to flick it over and it goes, gets away from him, I think. But... Now Carragher. Torres. The second half could be even better. Torres. They needed a good pass. The final one. Just let him down there. Yeah. Of course, they'll have to go to Hull, West Ham, and West Brom. Sanya uh, has only followed it straight to Dirk Kout. Kout's cross. Torres with the header. really with Sanya's clearance. Poor one. Really poor clearance. Should have dealt with this better. It's not difficult. Poor clearance. They get a little bit of luck when they need it. The first ball's been smashed across. Not really going anywhere. But you can't say that about the second. He drops that right on the money. It's amazing how players who play up front know exactly where to drop across every now and again. And that's what he does. Drops it on the penalty spot and says, go on, son. And when you're hot, you're hot. Make no mistake about this header, this is not easy. He has to put the power in the header, because the cross hasn't got any on it. Fernando Torres for the equaliser. Here's Torres again. Shelvin clears, find the pass. Torres, down by a counts little ball in. And keeping it in, probably the rest of he was going to present the ball to Bentley. Absolute astonishment at Anfield. Torres. And below it again. Torres! And it's been a second half battering so far for Arsenal. Great catch that. They need the one, they need two. Riera. Here's Torres. That's the one. It's 3 all. 18 minutes left. He's brilliant. He just works so best here to get the half a yard. And they're awfully, awfully deep in here, and they allow it into him, I think, far too easily. But watch the way he works to it there. Shifts it. And as soon as he shifts it and works, Mikel Silvestre, he knows what he wants to do. Little dummy there to get the little bit of an angle he needs to work the target. And there it is, bottom corner, arrowed into the bottom. It's another one of those nights involving Liverpool. Red Hope renewed. The Super Spaniard. Torres. Torre just got the way hit it against Sanya. Torres is still chasing. Like times. Awesome. Red and butter ball down one. You just can't defend this. Look at that. And look how quick Torres makes it round up before the Tory. It's just a desperate. And that could have been on the losing side. And there you go. Every shot he's had, every attempt he's had, shall I say it? He's been on target. And there's an appetite for a winner here. So close to the hat trick. Oh, he thinks he's scored, doesn't he? He's almost wheeling away. Alex Song doesn't get near him. 
brilliant position, that's what you're there for, to put two on the line. Tonight, Liverpool might well have had two other goals, but for that tactic that Arsene Wenger used to say, have to chase it, but they just leave themselves a little open at the back to a counter-attack. Take over the years, at various competitions. Torres, and that supports her up, but it's a corner in the 90th minute. Well, Arsenal better not shut off here. He's turned away. Oh, it. Torres. The big man needing a, a really big moment here. The bottom line is two points dropped at home by Liverpool. Andre Asharvin, who's really announced himself in English football, with his two for Torres for Liverpool. He might have lost. First man to get four here since Dennis Westcott in 1946, four in the league. What a night, what an extraordinary night. Arsenal in front when Arshavin did that. Who else but Torres got Liverpool back on terms here to get three in 14 years. Torres again. 1-0 it was at half-time at Cop End, uh, second half for Liverpool. You said, Stephen, at half-time you, you feel sometimes they can suck the ball in. You needed a goal, quickly. Um, inevitably, Torres got it, eh? Yeah, was, I think Dirk's first cross got blocked, but you know he's very clever with the ding. Second, second time round, and you know Torres is, is so good in the air. People talk about his finishing on the floor, but he, he he's lethal in the air as well. I mean, there were mistakes from both defences, weren't there tonight? That was a poor clearance, was it Sanyo at the far post? Yeah. Something that could have been those head, and uh, that they they punished for it. I mean, I don't know about you, Steve. I mean, you know more than me, but because you become more attack minded. Do you think you've sacrificed something at the back? A few more mistakes have crept into it, it seems to me, you know? Yeah, I think so. I think we've we've pushed too hard to the winner when we've mm. been level. Uh, because the three points have been vital to us, we've, we've maybe took a few more risks and gambled. And what is Fernando Torres? Inevitably, he's going to come up with an equaliser. He did. Mm -hmm. Was it the touch that gave him the opportunity to score? Well, this was my favourite goal tonight. I know there were some fantastic strikes from mm. our Shavin, but yeah. I think the touch and then the way he manoeuvred the ball to kid the defender was... Top draw, it, only only he can do that type of stuff, he, he, mm. he's world class. Best in the world? For me, yeah. I'm not going to be biased Torres because Drogba, I put... Because he came here and gave you a torrid time, didn't he, in the Champions League? You know, Drogba's world class, he's certainly up there with the best, but for me, I play behind the guy and see him day in, day out, and take it from me, he's the best. Yeah, I think head to head on our day, we, we can beat anyone. Mm. I think the points this season prove we've improved against the top four. Yeah. For me, I think it'd be interesting if we'd had Torres fifth from start mm. to finish mm. to see how many points we'd have now because when he's fit and, and playing like he did tonight, he's worth an awful lot of if points. If you were to, to draw belief from one game, would it be the performance and the result at Old Trafford? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, We were unbelievable that day. We played very well. Uh, and I think people watching uh, around the country um, all realised that day that Liverpool are a force to be reckoned with in the coming years.